Hello all, this is Sasko from the Honor UK Club community and I just thought I'd give you a quick tips and tricks video on the Phone Cologne app which as the name suggests is what you're going to use when you're transferring from an old phone in this case I'm going to use the Honor 20 Pro uh, to a new phone which in the, this example I'm going to use the absolutely beautiful 9X Pro now the great thing about phone clone is that you know it's free and it's available on all the app stores so you can find it on huawei's app gallery you can find it on the google play store and even the apple app store so you know no matter what phone you're transferring from you're going to be able to get it onto your new honor phone which is the main thing now if you're going from for instance apple you're only going to be transferring your contacts your videos, your photos, and your calendar. But if you're going from any other type of Android or another Honor or Huawei phone, you're going to be able to transfer a lot of your apps on that as well. So let's get started. As you can see here, I've got some different themes going. So the icons are going to look a little different. The one on the left is your more standard phone clone app that you should be able to recognize the blue icon. And so let's fire it up. So first of all, it wants to know which is the new phone and which is the old phone. So we're going to say that the Honor 20 Pro is the old one. And this is the new one. And as you can see here, it asks you what kind of device you're coming from. So again, it's not a problem to get moving over. I'm going to select Huawei. Connecting to new device, and this is via um, this is direct Wi-Fi, so it's not like you're going to have any issues with um, data, you know, um, any data charges or anything. And it does note here in this case that the new phone is using an older system, which is Android 9, based on Android 9.1. So it suggests, you know, you can update before. Fortunately, I can't at the moment on this one. But it is already aware of that, so you're in a good place, and it'll actually tell you, for instance, if you want to look through any of these, you know, it'll tell you all your contacts, tell you all the messaging, your call logs, notepad, recorder, calendar, music, documents, gallery, system settings, and apps and data. And here, as you can see, only 12 to 16 are selected because it already knows that some of them won't um, copy over like the desktop taskbar. Um, so it says, you know, no data, it'll copy over your Huawei ID. But again, it actually tells you the settings or apps that it can't transfer over, uh, can't transfer. And as you can see here, it also gives you a, a good idea on the size of the data as well. So it's 20 gigs and estimated 20 minutes. Um, from my previous testing, the speed you're probably gonna get or roughly four to three megs a second which is great um you know you can get all your apps transferred over without too much of an issue um as you can see here in this case it already knows some of the apps i have installed um already on the 9x pro so it says you know doesn't need to transfer because the data is the same but as i said you know ones that don't have issues it'll let you know um you know, it'll mainly be the data um, that is non-transferable, so it's not particularly an issue. Um, as you can see, they're successfully transferred. So it really is that simple once you have them connected. Hit transfer. I have to enter my lock screen code. And then it already starts and you can see the speed. And that's really all there is to it. It's actually pretty straightforward. As I said, I've actually done this um, from various Android devices to Honor or Huawei devices without issue. And also in the past, I've even transferred from uh, an old Apple device to my first Honor device, which was the Honor 10, and had no issues because it was really the... Um, calendar and contact data that I really wanted to transfer. Um, I knew that apps weren't going to go across, so that wasn't an issue. But um, another nice tip for this, if you're transferring from a 
on our Huawei device or indeed another Android, it will actually copy over your Wi-Fi um, settings, you know, your previously saved SSIDs. So, you know, having to remember the 10 different items or more, you know, from workplaces or friends' houses or even indeed your own house, you should know your Wi-Fi ID and password for that. But it just makes it that much straightforward because it copies it all over and then you're good to go. And it really is that straightforward. Again, if there are any issues during transfer, it'll pop up and let you know and you can kind of work around it. Um, most likely it's going to be some um, apps that may cause issues, but again, it lets you know what it's going to transfer over and what it won't. Um, for instance, something like, well, um, something Disney may not um, cross over to do with, you know, GMS and HMS. That's another uh, ball game I guess but I just wanted to give you a little quick um, indication of just how straightforward it is and again while you're waiting you can see what has and hasn't transferred so it's you know it's not a mystery and that will be done in well it's in about seven or six minutes so that's pretty good um, if you have any issues or any questions you can always um, ping me on the Honor Club community, um, or indeed in the bottom of this post that I'm going to post, you can ask anything if you have any issues, and I'll uh, endeavor to help you out. Um, I hope this has been useful, um, and check out my other videos, possibly my other reviews, etc., and uh, see you around the net, I guess. As a quick little addition to my uh, phone clone, uh, look there it is always worth noting that you should always have a quick gander on whatever app store you know your old phone and the new phone is at and make sure you've got the latest update and uh, this one actually just um updated an issue with wechat cloning so it really you know is worth um grabbing the latest one just in case you know any of your apps might um have had an issue that's been worked out so always worth a uh, check in to update your apps and that goes for most of your other apps as well obviously but you know uh constantly updating your apps sometimes isn't uh first on your mind but that would be one of my uh caveats on that one just to make sure it is indeed up to date